Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're looking at Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, Google L, and Apple. We follow the daily, weekly, monthly time frames. We use technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. If you like these videos, go to StockBookie.com, sign up for the free membership, or go to YouTube and subscribe. All right, let's get right to the daily chart on Facebook. 14 million, almost 15 million on the day. Dollar 52 down and 1% down on the day. So nothing really wrong, guys, other than you're back below the 50 and the 20 MA. And uh, now we're starting to chop sideways inside this bar. Bullish. You got to get above the uh, 50 and the uh, 20 MA and go for this top gap fill and go for the uh, haul time high up here at 156.50. Once you do that, then we could possibly get higher prices. Remember, guys, earnings are on deck for all these stocks in the next couple weeks or month or what have you. So watch for that. If you're going into earnings, make sure you don't have a heavy position and make sure if it goes up or down, you have room to add more for long or room to add more for short. I think a lot of these might get some non-event days, though, but we'll see. It's a 50-50 shot like the casino. So, again, inside bar, bearish pattern. Let's see what the develops here. We're right on top of the 3A2. Um, bearish, you just want to keep going sideways here, guys. The 20MA will curl in the price and possibly send this one lower. Support areas, 144.56. You got a couple gaps. Ultimately, you have this low pivot here right around 138.99. But just like the rest of them, guys, we've been talking about, February... 200 MA started, hasn't touched it since. This is usually the target when the uh, 200 MA hasn't been hit in months. So watch for that. And watch all the charts, guys. They're all the same. So beware of that. Remember, higher prices, got to get back above the 156.50. Then 160, 165 for Facebook. Earnings, who knows? Maybe it goes to 170. All right, let's go into Amazon. Amazon, guys, not a, not a bad day. $6 down, but down sideways. We talked about this right on top of gap fill and the 618 on this small Fibonacci retrace. So let's see if this continues sideways. 20MA curls in the price are sending this thing down. You have a low pivot around here, around 925. Ultimately, just like Facebook, guys, look, 200MA starting in February. This is your target for the downside. Got a couple gaps to fill, stuff like that. It's not going to go straight down unless the markets sell. But right now, let's look, see if this thing sets up in a sideways manner. Below the MAs, down in this lower range, down sideways. It's usually bearish. Uh, bullish case, you got to get back above the MAs, just like Facebook. Get above these high pivots and continue higher. The high was 1,017. And you're probably looking at 1,050, 1,075, then 1,100, 1,125, stuff like that. Again, earnings could send this thing soaring. Earnings can send this thing straight to the basement. So I got the targets for the downside for the 200 MA. For the upside, it's, of course, double top, and then we'll see where it goes from there on Amazon. Let's go into Netflix and FLX. This one, too, we talked about it. Great pattern bearish down below the MAs they pop it up and retrace it 750 comes right back in we did close in this lower area or this lower pivot we are holding this gap window if we continue sideways retrace let's see if this 20 MA comes in the price I still think it's 135.86 you got the low pivot here around 138.66 if these things start to go guys we got a gap filled down here at 133 Got another one down here at 123, so that's the bearish case. Right now, we're back below the MAs. It's been there for about a week and a half or so. Looks like it's going to start sliding some more. Bullish case, you got to get back above the 50, uh, 20 MA, the 50 MA, fill the gap, get above this pivot high, and then go for the all time high, which is 166.87. So that's the bullish case. And again, earnings, guys, it could go to 200. This thing could go to 100, so we'll see with that. Got a couple gaps to fill on the way down. So uh, July, guys, ah, man, it's 50-50 shot, just like the casino. But Netflix, it's okay. We'll look at the weekly charts tomorrow on the weekly closes. But, um, guys, slightly bearish here back below. Just watch out if you're long. Tighten those stops up. Let's look at J Google L. Google L. Google L. Same, it's, like, it's the same thing, guys. Same, same pattern, same, same thing. With the, with the 200 MA, that's your first target. You got these low pivots around 824. You got the gap fill, gap window that it's holding right now in the 50% retrace. Look, down, sideways. This crossed over. 20 MA is going to start coming in the price. That will send this down. Bullish case, you got to get back above these MAs, fill the gap, get above the pivot. 
Again, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but we do have earnings, and that's what's going to drive these stocks up or down. Gosh, I'm in that mode again where I'm trying to get that trend line in here. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to try. So we got this one coming down, this trend line here. For whatever reason, it's, it's giving a magnet, and it's going to it, so I'm not going to try this one. But trend line here, you're going to have some resistance. You have the gap fill, pivot high. If it gets above there, your target's at 1,008 or higher on earnings. Target on below, 200 MA, this low pivot. And I know you got some other areas down in here, some gaps to fill. Here's your November lows. I've been talking about that too. I think that's the target for a lot of these stocks. So beware if that comes to reality. So um, again, a little bit. Eh, nah, not a head and shoulder. I was going to say a little, little tiny bit, but got the gap to fill, 200 MA, another gap to fill, and the two. So watch this area around 850. Gap fill, 200. That could be a quick bounce area for a nice uh, call position for a couple days, or who knows, maybe it runs up for a month straight to the double top. <laughs> who knows anymore with these markets, guys? Uh, we had uh, 66 million on the SPY, so still light volume remains in these markets. All right, let's look at Apple. Apple setting up great bearish pattern, guys. Back below the uh, 50 and the uh, 20 MA. 20 MA is curling in the price, holding on to this low pivot gap fill down in here. You have a gap fill as well as the blue line at two, uh, 250 retrace. But man, that is an epic bearish pattern. But again, earnings coming up could pop up. You're looking at all time high, and then maybe 160, 165, 170 for all I know. If these things gap lower, guys, you better look out. 130. This big gap fill 121, but look at that. Look at the 200 MA on this one. Same thing. Starts in February right here. That's your target. Gap fill, and then honestly, lows of uh, November right here, 104. <laughs> I know everyone thinks I'm nuts, but uh, hey, that's the areas I'm looking for. And again, if you get good earnings, then you're looking at 160, 165, 175, up, up, up in there. First, you got to gap up above the um, all-time high at 156, and then maybe higher prices for these. But um, at this point, guys. Just got to be, you know, just just patient in these markets, especially if you're trying to short these stocks. If you are in any of these positions, make sure you don't load the boat. No more than 10% of your total portfolio. We like to do half positions into earnings just in case if we're long, then we can add more if it goes down. If we're short, we can add more short if it goes up. That's how we play the earnings play. Or, better yet, don't play them at all. Get out of the position if you're in the money. Wait for it to gap up or gap down, and then play the position there. So, All right, guys, that's it for today. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos and stopping by. God bless. See you on the charts.